우리 보건대학원이요? 물어서 뭐해요? 벌써 역사부터가 다른데 우리 보건대학원은 뿌리부터가 달라요 다녀보세요 다녀보시면 아 이래서 연세대학교 보건대학원 하는구나 하실 거예요 As a medical missionary, Allen sought to introduce and establish Western medicine and hygienic practices in Korea. On December 4, 1884, Min Young-ik, nephew to Queen Min-bi, sustained life-threatening injuries during the Kapsin coup. Using Western medical technique, Allen saved the life of Min Young-ik, and with these experiences proposed the founding of a new hospital to the Joseon government, Sponsored by King Kojong, the first Western-style hospital in Korea was established. Within the following year, a cholera outbreak would spread from Busan throughout the country. To fight the outbreak, Allen and doctors from the Jejungwon stressed the need for better public health to the Joseon government and dedicated themselves to caring for patients striking with the disease. From an American missionary, the history of Korean public health began. Still, there is another who cannot be forgotten. Medical missionary Ebison, who came to Korea in 1893. To begin his mission work in Korea, Ebison was appointed to coordinate the nation's defense against the cholera outbreak by the Joseon government. Along with the staff of the Jejungwon, Edison distributed flyers to the public to educate them on cholera prevention and played a major role in the prevention and treatment of patients. With these efforts and more, hygiene began to become more established in Korea. And finally, Kim Chang-se, graduates of Severance Union Medical College in 1916, becomes the first Korean to obtain a doctorate in public health in the United States in 1925. With his degree, Dr. Kim returned to his alma mater to lecture on health and hygiene. Throughout the Japanese colonial period, many professors continued to lecture on bacteriology and hygiene. In this way, the history of public health in Korea is forever linked with the Department of Hygiene at Yonsei University College of Medicine. The past 40 years of the Graduate School of Public Health, Yonsei University sprang from unique beginnings to deeply rooted in history. Professor Yang Jemo, who founded the Graduate School of Public Health in 1977, was a pioneer in the development of public health professionals and the field of public health in Korea. Graduate School of Public Health Yonsei University has produced many talented graduates who have moved on to become some of the nation's top managers and administrators in all areas of society. The Graduate School of Public Health at Yonsei University participates in promoting national policies and national health projects. Past efforts to promote family planning were a great success. In 1961, various studies were conducted to support the proposal of social security systems. In 1988, the National Council on Smoking Cessation was established to reduce smoking rates. The executive program seeks to cultivate the abilities of healthcare administrators and medical leaders. The Institute for Health Promotion aims to bolster academic research on health and epidemiology. 
With this spirit, since 1980, the Hospital Management Division has focused on nurturing hospital staff in Korea and conducting hands-on training and seminars in hospital administration. Global Health Division provides quality health education to students from developing countries either directly or over the Internet. Epidemiology and Health Promotion Division maintains a large-scale cohort to support epidemiological studies, health promotion, and health education. Health Informatics and Biostatistics Division has played a leading role in integrating and developing the Korean Health Informatics Society and the Biostatistics Society. Occupational Health Division seeks to improve working conditions and health problems industrial workers face. Environmental Health Division continues to promote studies of national policies and environmental issues. Poverty, famine, and disease was neither treatable nor preventable in the Joseon dynasty. The Western medicine that was introduced to the dynasty by medical missionaries helped overcome these issues and still continues to secure the health of the humankind. Many individuals who helped found the Graduate School of Public Health have contributed greatly to the formation of public health education and healthcare system in Korea. We will continue to study and work tirelessly to achieve our goal of becoming a world-class public health institute with the mission to free humankind from disease and suffering with the love of God.